In this video, we're going to look at credit card fees. Now, credit cards can have, I'm calling them hidden fees because sometimes we don't really notice them until we get our credit card statement. And people don't often consider these. So you really need to think about that. Sometimes we pick the credit card with the lowest interest rate, but we don't take into consideration all the fees. And sometimes it's better to pick the one with a little higher interest to avoid certain fees. All right, so we've got to weigh all these things up. So here's some examples of what you can get for fees. Fees. Um, you can get an annual card fee, which is basically a yearly amount you pay just for the privilege of having a credit card. We also have late payment fees. So as long as you never pay your minimum amount late, you shouldn't get this any time. Okay. And last of all, cash advances. Now, cash advances can be really costly. They can be anywhere up to 5% of the cash amount. So what does that mean? Well, for our cash advances, it means if you withdraw $1,000, well, 5% of this is going to be $50, which means by withdrawing $1,000 out of your credit card, the bank gets to keep 50 of that. That's quite a lot of money when you think about it. Anyway, let's um, go into the example here. We've got Grant um, and his bank has the following fees. He's got, he's got an annual card fee of $120. Each year he's got to pay that. A late payment fee of $30 and a cash advance fee of 3%. All right, so not quite 5%, but still a lot of money. All right, so what total amount would Grant pay in fees for a year in which he had three late payment fees? Okay, so uh, we'll write that next to our late payment fees. There's three of these. Okay, he had a cash advance of $300. So he's going to get charged 3% of $300 and another cash advance of $240. All right, so he had two amounts, $300 and $240. So where do we start? Well, I'll start with the cash advance fee just because this is the harder one to calculate and we had two amounts so we'll add them up we had an amount of 300 and an amount of 240 which when you add up and come to 540 dollars so he gets charged three percent of that so what we'll do is we'll go three divide 100 times the amount of 540 dollars this is how you calculate three percent of something Bringing our calculator up, 3 divide 100 times 540 equals, and we get $16.20 that the bank is going to keep because of this cash withdrawal. All right, um, what else is he going to have to pay? Well, he's got to pay fees for a whole year, notice that, which means he's also going to get charged an annual card fee. He'll get charged it just once. So we'll add that up. He gets a an annual card fee charged to him. Uh, he has three late payment fees. So we've got to have a late payment fee three times, 30 times three. And also the $16.20, the cash advance fee. All right, let's work this out. 120 plus 30 times three plus $16.20 or 16.2 will do, gives us $226.20. That's what he gets charged in fees for the year. Anyway, that concludes example one. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.